What do you want? <laughs> Just tell me about uh, how the track was yesterday. It looked really gnarly. Was it as gnarly as it looked? Yeah, it's more gnarly than it even looked. I mean, the downhills were so crazy. It's like unbelievable. And as you can see on the result, like I was struggling really bad. And, um, ah. I think today will be a bit better. We changed the setup a little bit. And uh, I believe the preparation from the track will be a bit better as well today. So hopefully have a better day today. What did you change? Just suspension settings? Uh, no, not really suspension. Uh, we changed uh, some sprockets and uh, small things to get the bike a bit more reactive from the bottom. Uh, I was missing a bit there, so um, yeah, we we changed it already in Spain, but there we were on the height, so but I believe it will work out here as well, so we'll see. Yeah, so the track yesterday looked really gnarly, was it as gnarly as it looked? Yeah, definitely, you know, I mean, uh, especially when you want to go fast, it's so hard to find the limit of pushing and being smooth, you know, yeah, gnarly, and um, I mean, we are, we love technical stuff, especially me, I'm good at it, but yesterday it was like two levels too much, I mean, even like my moment I had, which they caught on TV, I didn't even know what happened, you know, it's just, I hit the slick spot and all the ruts and bam, I stood sideways, but luckily I could save that one. Did you have to make any changes to the bike? Yeah, actually, yes, like, uh, I mean, I'm, my bike setup is really good at the moment, but uh, yesterday we had to adjust it to the track. Like uh, it's super tricky to to find the right balance, you know, between front and rear on this track, the way how it is. So yeah, I did some changes, especially on suspension. But uh, yeah, it seemed to be fine, and I felt good with my bike, you know. What do you think the key to the race will be today? Ah, as usual, starts. You know, this is always a key. It will never change. And then just after that, be smooth and uh, don't force it too much and get consistent laps in for 30 minutes because it's so easy to make any small kind of mistakes here you know you seem to have the start dialed now <laughs> yeah it seems like i mean you always still gotta you know uh, do it and and make it happen but uh, it seems like my average start is is super good you know so i'm I'm confident on that. You're happy with the bike now? Yeah, I am. I mean, the bike is uh, is, is working well. Um, I trust it. I know what I have. Um, sure, you know, you always have a place where you say it could be better, but this is motocross. It's, it's not, uh, you don't race on the asphalt, you know, but but yeah, I'm pretty happy and confident with my bike, yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. See you, yo. Can you just tell me, uh, how was the track yesterday? Yeah, actually it was okay, uh, it was really sketchy actually, but what was nice was a real motocross track, let's say. A bit too sketchy, uh, but but was nice to ride actually, like you can make a bit of difference, it was full of reds, it's some big jump, it was grippy, so actually it was nice, I enjoyed it. Did you have to make any changes to the bike yesterday? Uh, yeah, we changed a bit the, the real shock. Uh, I felt my bike a bit too reactive on the bump, so Ludo changed a bit and uh, we will see this morning in the warm-up how it's going. Have you had a look at the track for today yet? No, I didn't watch yet, but uh, I had my trainer just tell me that they, they rebuilt everything, they, they rip it, so yeah, I think it's going to be nice.